In this video, I will create this photo album print effect. Now, printed hard copy photo albums last longer than the, a lot of the technology. After all, eight and a half inch or eight inch discs disappeared. Five and a quarter inch floppy disks have disappeared and so does three and a half inch. So your storage devices of uh, the future will also disappear because of new technology. So the good old hard copy photo album outlives most of the, the technology of, uh, of today. So I'll create this personalised photo in GIMP. Now we load our image make it a full screen by that icon there right click the image over in the layers channel and add an alpha channel make a copy by clicking on the duplication button there go to colors and desaturate choose a luminosity and click OK make a new layer OK Select your rectangular selection tool and make a selection around the image of the what sort of a photo you want to personalise. Now we go to select and we place a border around it. Now depending on your image, you your border will need to be changed differently what I've got here. Now the image is quite large, so I, I push this up to 40 and click OK. Now I'll choose the white and just drag it into that corner frame and let it go. Now I'll go to select and select none. Choose my rotation tool and click in the, on the image. Now type in your uh, rotation by minus 10 point zero. Now remember that number and rotate. Choose your fuzzy select tool and click inside the image. Now over in the layer channel, we right click the top layer and merge down. That takes the selection with it as well. Now we press the delete on the keyboard and reveal the colour underneath. Now we go to select and select none. Go to your text tool and choose a font that will suit your photo album. I've chosen that one there, it's not a standard one in GIMP. And just click inside the area, now increase that by quite a substantial amount because I know it's a small font. Choose the colour of your font, I choose a red. Now type in your text. Increase its size a lot more. Right click the text on your layer and alpha to selection. Go to change your colour back to black by clicking that little icon there, it swings it back to black. Go to edit, stroke. Now, now the font is very small, now I need to do lower the line width and I choose three, click on stroke, go to select and select none. Now we go back to our rotation tool, click in the area. Now we remember our rotation was minus 10.0 and click rotate. Now we'll click on my move tool, click the radio button, move the active layer and move it above your image and there it is perfectly aligned. Right click the top layer and flatten the image. You will find a hard copy of this procedure on the website listed below.